दिस इज दी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन बी एमडब्ल्यू फाइव सीरीज और इफ यू आर बी एमडब्ल्यू नर्ड दिस इज द जी थर्टी एल सी आई नाउ जी थर्टी मीन्स दिस इज द सेम सेवन जनरेशन मॉडल ऑफ द फाइव सीरीज एल सी आई स्टैंड फॉर लाइफ साइकिल इम्पल्स विच इन सिंपलर टर्म्स मीन्स दैट दिस कार हैज नाउ रिसीव अ मिड लाइफ अपडेट सो इज देर एनीथिंग डिफरेंट इज देर एनीथिंग वर्थ पेइंग अटेंशन टू is it the same old car underneath so we have the new 5 series with us today let's drive it and find out if the changes have made it an even better proposition or is it just the same old car with a few cosmetic updates you're watching the autox youtube channel you can also get your daily dose of all things automotive on our website autox.com and follow us on social media don't forget to check out our monthly magazine and make sure to hit the bell and subscribe button so you don't miss a thing The 7 generation 5 series is currently one of the best looking BMWs on the market today and that's saying something because the styling on some of the recent BMWs is a bit of an acquired taste. Now with this update the 5 series has been given a focused look says BMW. The front end is heavily reworked as it features sleeker headlamps and a new single unit kidney grille. At the back the lamps have been stretched out and reprofiled too. It's still a very handsome looking sedan I have to say although not everything is perfect. So overall I quite like the look of the new 5 uh, series it has always been a handsome car that hasn't changed because it's the same old car the shape the design it's as sporty uh, the grill is acceptable it's not as big as it's on other BMWs especially the 4 series uh, the headlamps they also look nice they come with laser lights but I think these L shaped DRLs it looks a bit Octavia-ish uh, this makes it look like a Skoda so for me that doesn't work I still prefer the old cars in July Inside the dashboard design and layout haven't changed that much all the controls are driver focused and everything is a little too familiar to the 3 series this also means that it now gets a bigger 12.3 inch touch screen infotainment coupled to BMW's 7 gen i drive system as always it's quite intuitive crisp and easy to navigate through all the options the upgraded i drive system also brings wireless android auto connectivity in addition to apple carplay there's also gesture control which i personally find of no real use and the i drive system can now receive updates over the air other than that the temperature controls have been updated and the center console comes with piano black finish the driver seat is supremely comfortable and sporty and the overall quality of materials is top notch as always now if you're looking for rear seat comfort in the 5 series nothing wrong with it it's quite good uh, the doors are quite big and large getting in and out is quite easy but uh, the seat it's quite low and when you get inside there is uh, a lot of space uh, there's a decent amount of uh, knee room the headroom is also quite good but i think it's more or less similar to the 3 series grand limousine of course you get uh, four zone air conditioning here but uh, overall in terms of space uh, it's comparable to the 3 series grand limousine and uh, it's a direct rival the e class which is the long wheelbase version well that's in a completely different league so it doesn't really compare but if you want to sit here it's quite comfortable uh, not a lot of gadgets to play around like the e class has a touch screen and android uh, touch screen reclining seats so this doesn't get any of that but overall i think it's a very comfortable and a quite spacious cabin So uh, the 5 series is unchanged uh, technically that means it gets the same set of uh, engine options as the old car this means it has two diesel engines 520d and 530d and one petrol which is 530i so uh, the one we are driving today is the petrol version 530i so this has uh, a familiar 2 liter four cylinder turbocharged motor that develops 249 bhp and 350 newton meters of torque now uh, there's the same engine that's also available with the 330i m so uh, in terms of performance we are quite familiar with this unit it is a really quick car uh, this does 0 to 100 in 6.2 seconds uh, throughout the rev range this engine has a lot of performance uh, there is grunt everywhere there is a little bit of lag below uh, 1500 rpm but after that it just pulls so uh, in terms of performance you won't really complain for everyday use i think this car is pretty quick whether you're sitting in traffic or whether you're driving on the highway i think this has performance for all sort of driving conditions 
Now, in terms of outright fun or excitement, I don't think uh, this feels as exciting as the 330i M Sport because in that car, you also get the M Sport exhaust. In this, it's a little subdued. This car is more matured because, uh, of course, it's a 5 series, it's not a 3. So, uh, the main focus is towards comfort, but if you want performance, if you want outright performance, I think it's just as quick and as fun. But of course, you won't uh, get that visceral sense that uh, you get in the 3 Series, especially because of the exhaust. This is all quiet and mellowed. Uh, the gearbox is also the same, the 8-speed ZF torque converter. And uh, we can't really sing enough praise of this gearbox. It is the best in the business. The shifts are lightning quick and flawless. And it just knows which gear to pick at just the right moment. So, uh, in terms of that, again, there is no complaining because this is the engine and gearbox. This combination is uh, available with a lot of BMWs and we have experienced this before. So, uh, nothing new and nothing uh, worth complaining because this is as good as it gets. And one thing I'd like to highlight about this car, the 5 Series in particular, the 530i M, is the refinement levels. Once you are inside the car, you can't really hear anything from outside. In fact, at speeds below 60 km per hour, you won't even hear anything from the engine. It sounds like as if I'm driving an electric car. It is that quiet. So, like I said, if comfort is your top priority, I think this car is really a great package, especially the 530i. It has the performance, it has the refinement as well. Uh, the diesel is also pretty good, especially the 530d. But if you want something more refined and uh, you want a petrol, of course, the 530i is the sole engine option. But I don't think you need anything else. This is the perfect engine for a car of this size. Now in the mid-size luxury sedan segment, the BMW 5 Series has always been the car uh, which is more exciting, which is more involving to drive. And this, of course, with the G30 LCI, uh, this is a mid-life update. So uh, there is nothing that has changed. So that means it is probably the best car in its segment in terms of uh, driving pleasure. The handling is really nice. It feels light and you sit low down. So you feel like you're sitting in a sports sedan and uh, it's very low it maintains that 50 50 weight distribution the steering is really direct even though it is a bit lifeless but if you compare it let's say with the e-class the handling of this thing it's absolutely brilliant i think it would be right to say that it is of course uh, the most driver focused car in the segment now at the same time it's also very comfortable because this car comes with the adaptive dampers so it has two modes, comfort or sport. So in comfort mode, it's really, really supple. And uh, if you go over bad roads, I think this car, the refinement and uh, it absorbs the undulations and bumps really well. So you do feel like you are in a luxury car. It's very comfortable in that regard. I wasn't expecting it to be this good, but uh, it turns out it's just as good as the E-Class. Of course, the E-Class, the seats are plusher and you get more kit. But in terms of ride quality, I think this is nearly there. And its ride quality is what brings me to another question. You know, uh, the last time I drove the 3 Series Grand Limousine, I was wondering why would anyone buy a 5 Series over the 3 GL. It has the same sort of space and it has the same sort of equipment. Plus, it has the same engine option as well, uh, the 330i. Now, today after driving this car, I can tell you why. See, uh, the 3 Series Grand Limousine, it's a great car if uh, you're looking for value for money. But the 5 Series, the ride quality is really superior because of those adaptive dampers. It's really quiet in here. It has that big car feel. And that is why I think uh, you'd buy it over the 3 Series Grand Limousine. Plus, of course, the 5 Series, it's in a different segment. So it also gives you a sort of ego boost. But even in terms of refinement and ride quality, I think it's a little bit superior than the 3 Series Grand Limousine. So, uh, if you're wondering uh, what extra does it offer over the 3GL, well, those are the two key points. So, overall, not much has changed with the 5 Series. It's still the same old car, the same 7th generation model. That means it drives and handles exactly like the old car. Of course, uh, with the 2021 update, it has got some updates. Uh, the styling elements are new. It looks more upmarket. There's a new infotainment screen as well. So, overall, it really adds up to the whole 5 Series experience. But at the end of the day, if you want a luxury sedan that's fun to drive and it's also spacious and comfortable at the back, I think the 5 Series still offers the best balance in the segment. Of course, the Mercedes E-Class with its long wheelbase and more plusher cabin, 
is for someone who just wants to be chauffeured around all the time. But the 5 Series, like I said, it is a more balanced package. So overall, even though the new 5 Series is not a completely new car, I think it's still one of the best, if not the best car in its segment.